need some coffee hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to do basically a part two to my last video which was a Marshalls and TJ Maxx haul in this video you're actually going to see the products perform and see how I like it and if I would recommend it or not so if you want to see what type of look I came up with then keep on watching so first things first I'm actually going to try um, some of the lip products that I got for the look that I'm going to do I don't think I'm going to be using any of these lip colors that's going to go along with the look so I'm just going to try on the colors and see how they perform and see how I like them and how they apply um, and talk about them a bit and then I'm going to try out the wipes that I talked about that I got which are the cherry kisses hydrating lipstick wipes um, so they're wipes specifically made to take off your liquid lipstick or any type of lipstick or lip gloss. Um, so I'm going to check these out. I really wish that they didn't apply the stickers so weird because then it just makes the product itself look horrible. Because these stickers just are horrible to take off. Um, but the first thing I'm going to try is the Too Faced uh, Melted Latex Liquid Lipstick. And this is the High Shine so i guess it's like a high shine lipstick and not going to be matte at all and this is in the color safe word it's like ew look it's like gummy like really gummy if you apply too much so it looks pretty but the problem is when you apply too much, it gets gummy and it starts like when you open your mouth, you see like those gummy lines in between your lips that look really, really gross and weird as well as it like is like it like clumps up on the inner part of your mouth like like in this part here. I don't know. It looks really pretty though, like on the lips. I like how it's like a very high pigmented gloss. Um but obviously it's not transfer proof because it's not a matte liquid lipstick. Alright, so now I'm just going to use the wipe and take it off. Oh. Oh my god, these smell. These smell so good. Mm, it smells like cherry, but like, oh, it doesn't smell like medicine or anything. It smells like straight up cherry, like a cherry. Mm, like a cherry popsicle like a cherry ice popsicle from like Rita's or something I don't know like mm, it took it off really easily too like it's not even like oh my god these wipes I can already tell I'm gonna love these wipes for the way this formula was I thought that the wipe is gonna kind of like stick to it and just like tug at it but not really take it off and it just took it right off all right, so before we move on, basically I think that I would I would wear this. I would get my money's worth out of it. I would probably only wear it if I'm home and I'm not really going anywhere and I don't really have to worry too much about what my lip is gonna look like in a couple hours or minutes even. Um, but if I'm actually going to like a party or an event or somewhere where I'm gonna be out in public and someone else might notice my lips before I do, I probably won't wear this. Next thing is the Buxom Big and Sexy Bold Gel Lipstick. And this is what this looked like so let's apply this and see how this performs and applies it's so big and thick it's almost like a contour stick so this is in extreme heat and it's not how I expected it's applied a little weird over here it makes it look like I never applied a lipstick in my entire life this thing is freaking humongous like it's so big and I'm just like it was so hard to apply because of how big it was so I would say that this is something that you would probably want to apply with maybe a lip brush which I never use so it's a little annoying to it's it's not something that's gonna be easy for reapplying for touch-ups um, it did go on a little patchy, so the color did not come on even. Um, and it's like a very high shine lipstick, which that I don't mind. I thought it was going to be more on the matte side, but I mean, it didn't say matte at all. It just said vividly bold moisturizing gel lipstick. So 
yeah i don't know why i thought it was gonna be matte but just because i guess it was in lipstick form but yeah um i don't mind it being shiny would i buy more of those no so so far i will make sure i get my money's worth out of everything of course but like so far I wouldn't repurchase anything like I can tell right away if I'm gonna like something or not and just like the formula for these two things I'm just like mm. next Anastasia Beverly Hills don't let us down this is the liquid lipstick in Karina and, and it is just a very bold pink lipstick So this is something that I like a lot better. Um, it's more on the matte side and it applied like a dream. I didn't have any issues with it at all. Um, and it wasn't patchy and it was really, really pigmented. So I'm liking this color a lot. Oh my God, my lips feel so good. Like did this feel refreshed and like moisturized? All right, so first things first is I'm going to just apply some primer. Just how I would normally apply primer when I am applying any foundation. Put some on my cheeks in the middle of my forehead and then kind of just work it out okay and that was just the elf primer so the next thing i'm going to try is the foundation from bare minerals and this is in the shade medium 10 I'm not sure if I'm just going to use a regular fluffy brush or if I'm going to try the Pro Buff Foundation brush. So we'll see. So it is applying some color to my face. I don't know if you can like see that. So this shade is a little bit on the pinky tone which my skin is a little bit more in the warmer tone. So I can tell right off the bat that this foundation is a little bit more like on the pinky side. It does have like a pink undertone to it and I'm usually more a little bit on the warmer. So it's kind of like ghosting me out a bit. <laughs> you can kind of see like the difference in a way. It's definitely not full coverage at all. I wouldn't even say medium coverage. If anything, it kind of just canceled out the redness, like the majority of the redness in my face. But like you can see, like you can still see the acne and like the acne scars. So it really didn't do much for coverage, just kind of like evened out a bit. 
so it's definitely something for more of those like very light makeup days like if you're just looking for a little something but you're not really looking for coverage or if you don't really have any issues and you just kind of want to balance out your skin tone then this is something that you'll probably enjoy but if you're more of a medium to full coverage person and you don't want to settle for anything less then i don't think you will actually like this um for my like i said for my light makeup days this is something that i will probably reach for um, not in the summer because this will be way too light for me um, It's barely working for me now, but I can easily bronze up my skin and bring color back um, So you can I can tell that I have makeup on like you can tell I can tell I have foundation on it doesn't like just melt into the skin or anything um, But it's not like super super cakey or anything either. I'm just gonna use my liquid camouflage Catrice um, concealer And I'm just going to apply a little bit under my eyes that's really all i'm going to do today so next i am going to just set my under eye with the kat von d the locket brightening powder in golden for sure a like yellow color so i'm not sure how that's gonna look on my face and i forgot to bring in the brush that i usually use for my under eye so i think i'm just going to I'm just going to quickly use this brush from Ellen Tracy. It is a contour brush, but I'm just going to quickly use it for this part because I don't have my other brush in the room with me. And this is the Ellen Tracy Contour Complexion Brush. And this is what it looks like. And I, I can already tell, no, I'm not going to like it at all for contour. So we will probably use this for more of a like under eye brush and it just looks very yellow on me <laughs> I kind of already knew this was not going to be my shade at all but kind of went for it anyways I'm just going to set on top of my eye too. I'm just going to try to wipe it away but for the most part it just looks like I have yellow eyeshadow fallout underneath my eye so this is for sure not my shade. <laughs> um, yeah so far <laughs> it's so good. I mean I don't know it's hard to tell if it did anything because it's not my shade and it's like really yellow um i don't even know if i can make this work in the summertime when i'm like really tan maybe i can but it's just really yellow like it's not even golden it's just yellow like it's just straight up yellow all right well that was fun okay next so oh, I will probably try these in another video, the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. Some people even use this as just foundation itself and then other people actually use it the way it's made for to put into your um, foundation and make it more high coverage. But since I have powder all on my face and use the powder foundation from Bare Minerals, I'm not going to try this out today. I will try it out in another video for you guys and let you know my thoughts then. So I need to bring some life back into my face because I just feel like I look super pale and dead. So I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Palette. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to bring some color back. into my face.
next i'm just going to use the babylon powder brush this is a contour brush which i can see myself using this to just bronze up the face but i'm just going to use it for now as a blush brush so i am first going to go in with the bare minerals um what is this a bellini brunch and this is what it looks like it is such a pretty color is what it looks like i did use this once already because i really really wanted to use this actually twice i used it two days in a row because i really liked it so this is not first impressions and it is pigmented and it wears all day long so i kind of like pat some on my cheeks and then kind of work it back to kind of just blend in and it just blends like a dream and this I highly, highly recommend the Bare Minerals um, blushes. This is the packaging that it came in, and this was $7.99 compared to $14. So get yourself some Bare Mineral blushes because I need more of these. So to add some glow back into my face because I feel like I'm really, really matte right now. Matte, not mad, matte. Oh my god, I can't get it out. All right, so this is the NYX Eliminator and it's in the color magnetic and it is just so pretty i did swatch it in the other video so i'm kind of just going to keep this towards the back and kind of put it where i would normally maybe put a highlight but like just towards the back and up where i would put a highlight and it is very sparkly i don't know if you can like it's, really, it's not really picking up for you guys, but it is very sparkly. It's like straight up glitter pieces on my face, but I don't mind it. I just wouldn't go too crazy with it. So quickly before I do my eyes, I, I am just going to do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to use the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Palmade. It's not anything I got at these stores, but... And it is affordable. Isn't it amazing when you do your makeup and you kind of just see your face like come together? It's like, like, oh. okay. So, I am going to jump into something that's like the most exciting part of this whole video, which is the eyeshadow palette from Clara Cosmetics. And it is this beauty right here with all these beautiful colors that I cannot wait to jump into. I know I didn't tell you the prices of all the products that I used today. I did mention the prices in the first video, which was the part one to this video. Um, and, but this was $12.99 and it was originally $22. And this is what it looks like. So I hope it performs just as good as it looks. Mustard yellow. And I'm going to go into that shade.
So next I'm going to go into the shade right next to it and kind of put that just a little bit lower. Next, I'm just going to go into this brown right here, this color, this color, and I'm just going to like kind of like put it into my inner corner. So far, these eyeshadows are blending out pretty well and the pigment is there for the price. So for so far, I am not having any issues at all with the eyeshadows. And like you can see that the yellow is showing through, so no issues so far. So next, I am going to just go into this bright gold color right here. And I'm just going to apply that to the lid to... See how that applies. Hmm. The glitters, or should I say the shimmer, is applying a little patchy. And you definitely need you definitely should have some setting powder on your under eye because like the gold glitter is getting everywhere. So that shimmer eyeshadow is what kind of gave me a little bit of an issue. It's just going on really patchy and blotchy. It's not really going on with a smooth application. It's just looking really weird. I don't know. But the matte eyeshadows are really good. Like I really like the matte eyeshadows. Um, I don't know if every shimmer is going to perform that way, but like if they performed well, they do have a pretty good pop to them. It's just the way that they apply. So I'm just going to go back into this brown right here. I'm just going to use that same color to do a inner corner. Inner corner Lord forgive me, I'm going to take a little liner brush and I'm going to dip into that same gold that we just that we just used and I'm just going to apply it right on the bottom here just to give me some brightness. Alright, so this is what I did with the eyeshadow. I was expecting it to be a little bit different just because of the, the shimmer. I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a pop and not so blotchy it's kind of a little hard to see on camera but in person it kind of just looks more like a eyeshadow topper so maybe if you like apply the eyeshadow the yellow eyeshadow first and then this one top it might make it look a little bit better but the my the the matte eyeshadows were perfectly fine like i have no complaints about the matte eyeshadows i kind of wanted to swatch the rest of them let's see so this is the gold. See now that was nice. That looked 
and that felt really creamy too and there's still some like left on my finger I'm gonna swatch this silver and this blue And these down here look more of a like satin finish versus these look a little bit more glittery. I'll do this purple too. All right, let's see. So that's the silver. You see how it's like a little, but it's so pretty. That's pretty. And this is the blue. Hmm. The blue has, is struggling. There's the purple. I'm gonna swatch that gold that I used on my eye so you can kind of see. All right, so this is what it looks like swatched. And then I'm gonna swatch that bronzy gold, that bronzy shade that was right next to it again. Looking at it up close, this still looks better than this because I can see some blotchiness in the swatch itself and this is just solid. Like there's no, like I can't see my hand through it at all and for the gold I can see my hand through it. So I think the rest of the shimmers, not the rest of the shimmers, but majority of them are going to perform a lot better than that gold did. So like I'm, I can't use the whole palette on my eyes right now to see. But I did spend $12.99 on it, and like I said, the mattes, all the mattes performed fine. Like, I didn't have any issues at all with the matte. I'm gonna curl my lashes and add on some false lashes. So I can just open up the package. Oh my god, it's about to fall out. Jeez. Curly lashes. All right, so the lashes are standing straight up. It's a, it's a lash curler. Can't get any, can't get any magic out of that. Girl, we don't need no instructions for no freaking eyelash curler. So before I apply some lashes, I'm just going to apply some Ellen Tracy Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. You can use this to prime or set. And this is from Ellen Tracy. Now this I did not buy at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but I did get this at Ross. I don't remember how much because this was at a totally different separate time. This was just me doing my normal shopping and I came across this. It smells really, really good. Um, if you don't like fragrance in your stuff though, you're probably not going to like this. But if you do like fragrance in your stuff and you don't mind it, then it smells good. So I like it. Now I'm just going to apply some lashes. This does come with some glue with it, but I am not going to use it right now. I'm just going to use the normal kiss glue. Alright, so these are what the lashes look like. Of course, 100%. I do not like them. They are just way too long. They literally go to my eyebrows. It says Glam Wispies. They are for sure glam. Um, but just too glam for me. They are just too unnatural. And yeah, I have a whole pack of these. Um, not a huge fan. And I did pay $7.99 for these. And they originally are $14. So the fact that they cost just as much as a bare mineral blush. They are from Pro, Pro Beauty Essentials. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't like them for me. Um, if people, other people like them, then I'm glad that they work for you, but they are just not my type and they are just not my style. Like I just, I can't take myself seriously and I know that anyone who knows me won't, like just won't take me seriously wearing these. So that is absolutely everything guys. Um, I want to say basically what really worked for me was the foundation was not bad at all it's just a little bit off color wise but it's not off too much it's just more of the undertone that's off and it just has a little bit of a pink undertone um the blush i absolutely love 
and the illuminator is fine too like there was nothing really wrong with the illuminator unless you really don't like a lot of glitter um, but if you just apply like a small dusting of it then it's not too bad I think it's gonna look a lot more um, it's gonna look better in the summertime than it would I believe in the winter the eyeshadow palette not really complaining too much like I said the mattes went on beautiful um, it blended well the pigment was there just that one gold eyeshadow that I used on my eyelid is what kind of gave me um, the most issue but the rest of them swatched pretty fine so I'm not sure how they, so I'm not sure how they are going to perform um, but I am still excited about the palette I'm so excited to use it more in the future and to test it out more so I don't regret the palette at all I still enjoyed the uh, the I still enjoyed the palette so my most favorite thing that I bought out of everything was probably the Beverly Hills um, Anastasia lippy um, and then the eyeshadow palette and the blush like those are my top three things that are my favorite the rest of the stuff I think I could live without so yeah guys this is the final look I cannot take myself serious with these lashes that they need to come off um, hope you enjoyed guys I know this was probably a long video I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible all right guys well that is everything for today if you haven't subscribed already I would love that you do um, just hit the little notification bell as well that way you do get notified every single time I upload and of course I do want to hear from you guys so please leave a comment below um, I will of course answer back to you guys and would love to chit chat with you and get to know you more and for my new subscribers I want to say thank you for subscribing as well as welcome to my channel if you guys have any videos at all in mind that you want to see from me of course just leave that below as well and until the next video guys bye